Hi, I'm Dick. And I'm Eric. And we're the Annuity Guys. And Dick, today, we're choosing, a, choosing a fixed indexed annuity. Yes, and, and Eric, uh, that's referred to all over the internet as a hybrid annuity. Oh, no, no, no. Nowadays, no, nowadays no, it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> a fixed indexed annuity without an income rider is the purest sense. Now, yeah. to get a hybrid yeah. style, you got to have the income Well, rider. and that's where we, we tend to talk in terms of hybrid combining a whole bunch of things right. into one annuity. And, and mostly it's marketing hype. I mean, mostly it's just the sizzle to, to sell the annuity, yeah. talking about hybrid. Um, but but it is in all fairness, um, a hybrid does mean the the combination of several elements okay. into into one thing. So um, so I, I would say that it is a it is a hybrid um, in that sense. But let's get into the specifics of the fixed indexed annuity yeah. and and uh, what's good about it. Yeah, and I think the, usually the first thing I start with when someone asks me, and it's breaking down what's an index. You know, really when you talk about indexing for an annuity. Uh, the most common one out there is typically you hear the S&P 500 or Dow the Dow Jones. Dow. Yes. Now, and most people say, "Well, I'm invested in the market, right?" So I, no. I, I take. A, <laughs> well, what do you mean? It's it's like an indexed uh, mutual fund or an index. Well, that's the that's the the thing yeah. that's challenging to explain to folks is that you really are never invested yeah. in the market. Um, you're using that index just as a indicator. It's a um, benchmark. A it's benchmark a, yeah. to know how much interest will be credited to your account. So this is a completely safe, investment-free product. Yeah. Um, Risk-free. Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. And, and I always laugh because what I try to do is explain that, you know, we could use the weather as that same index and say, you know, we start with, you know, this time at 8 o'clock today and at 8 o'clock tomorrow we're going to look at the same time and if we're up 2 degrees we're going to credit you 2%. <laughs> you can use any kind of benchmark. Now, yes. in fact, there are indexes out there that use interest rates. Yes, uh, commodities. Commodities, gold, I mean, is, is right. Right, right. So, so, so if somebody comes to you with an annuity with this amazing new index that, you know, don't get too excited because, first of all, even if that uh, particular index uh, could soar, you're going to be limited um, on the upside of it. Uh, that's how these indexed, fixed indexed annuities work, is they give you the um, the upside, but they give you no downside, so you don't get all of the upside. Yeah. And really, if you, you kind of peel back the layers of how an, an indexed annuity really works, it's you're, the insurance company has something usually that it can purchase options on. They're looking at options contracts, something they can buy for pennies on the dollar. If they if it doesn't hit, it expires. They throw it away. Yeah. And when it hits, um, it brings it's good for brings, everybody. Yeah, it brings some money in. And it, they're uh, willing to yeah. share some of those benefits. Right. With you. So like you were describing, you know, what's the, the negatives here? You don't get the full upside, typically, that you're going to get from a market participation if you were just truly invested in one of those yourself. But then also the inverse of that is you don't go backwards. Completely safe, completely secure. Yeah. And when we say risk-free, we, we have to qualify that a little bit. What we're really saying is it's market risk-free. Right. And, um, you know, uh, there's there's risk in, in anything we do. Um, you know, if it's a U.S. Treasury, there's risk in it. Right. Um, so there's just, uh, in, in terms of measuring risk, it's one of the, uh, the least risky things you can do with your money. Right. Uh, explaining some of the things that limit some of the upside, and you'll hear this as part of the conversation. If you ever look at a indexed style annuity, you'll hear the words caps typically associated, mm -hmm. which is a cap of usually, you know, the total Lim amount. Limits, limits your upside. So you may, you may say, you know, you've got the S&P 500 index with a cap of 5%. Well, that typically means the most you're going to make in a year is 5%. So that's your cap. The market may make 20%. Well, you're only going to get up to your cap. Yes. Then there's the participation rate, which is how much of that. So that index. if the market goes up 20% and I have a 10% participation rate, <laughs> I'm going to get 10% yeah. of what the market went up. Or a spread, uh, which in that case, um, you, what, you agree that the first portion of what's earned, yeah. it could be 1% or 5%. Yeah. goes to uh, the, insurance. the insurance company or, or is not paid to you, let's put it that way. Right. And so consequently, you get anything above that. So if the if you had a 10% spread, the market did 20%, you'd get 10%. You, you get 10%. Yeah. But so, and, and those are really kind of neat aspects of saying, you know, I can still participate in the upside. I know I'm not going to go backwards. And as long as there's no fee associated with the contract, 
you'll never go. You'll never will back up. And that's yes, a, yes. That's what's very attractive. And it's kind of looking at who would be interested in these types of annuities. It's usually somebody who wants some growth, mm -hmm. but they're just not willing to go backwards. You know? Correct. If we look at the, the, the charts over the last 10 years, and this is where it's yeah, indexed annuity companies are really, really putting those charts out. Because if you remember back in you know, 2008 when that market went boom, well, guess or, what? Or 99. Yeah. yeah. What did your indexed annuities do? Just right. No, no loss. We didn't, we didn't go back 30%. It had a nice place to start yeah. from when the yeah. market started coming back up. Exactly. And stair steps up. And that's what's nice. It yes. locks in. Typically, it resets in. If it's an annual reset, every year you start at that new yes. benchmark, and all you do is, you know. Now, Eric, one of the things, I'm going to switch our subject here on this uh, a little bit, and that is <laughs> that we see all the time, and it kind of gets gets uh, our ire up a little bit, um, eight percent returns you know uh on indexed annuities and it, it's pretty misleading isn't it well and it's t and that's when people are typically selling the rider they're selling mm -hmm. the piece that you're going to pay a fee for usually but it's that sizzle portion that people want because they want that uh, market style return you know so eight percent guaranteed well, and then the small print for future income. Yeah, not on, really on an income, income account. Yeah. It's it's uh, you know kind of a virtual type account. Does does what it's supposed to do. An excellent feature, an excellent benefit. But um, consumers are generally uh, confused and misled yeah. many times by that uh, statement of uh, getting an eight percent return on their money, safe, yeah. secure, guaranteed when that's just factually not true, right. or at least not the whole picture. Yeah, and in fact, most people in, this is the conversation you have to have, if you're not looking at a FIA or fixed indexed annuity for income, you can buy it without the income rider. Yes. You know, you don't need that income no rider. No fees. No fees, no charges. Now, you're not going to get that guaranteed roll-up for future income, but you still have the option of receiving lifetime income from these annuities because you can annuitize. Annuitize, right, right. So um, when we start looking at um, the fixed indexed annuity and the benefits that that annuity will give, um, you know, as compared to other annuities, uh, variable annuities, immediate annuities, um, so we start to, to look at, we've got upside, mm -hmm. uh, we've got safety and guarantees, uh, so the upside would be kind of similar to the variable annuity, uh, that you've got some upside. You're, you don't have that unlimited upside of the variable, but you do have upside, right. uh, a little better than normal growth, uh, you know, should be. And then you've got the safety and security of the fixed annuity, uh, because there really is no investment right. with a fixed index right. annuity. Uh, income, you've got the potential of what the immediate, the immediate annuity, annuity right. does in two ways. Right. Um, you can annuitize or... You can uh, use the rider yeah. right, uh, for lifetime income. And uh, the, the beauty of the using the rider for the lifetime income is back to what we call a majority control of your money, where you can actually not give your lump sum away like the immediate annuity, keep control of that money either to go on to the heirs or for a future use if there was an emergency. Yeah. So, so I think we've broken down the fixed indexed annuity, giving you some tidbits as to how the hybrid might be a part or an add-on to that, that base chassis. So I think we've kind of covered all the, the, the we've done confusing it. points. Thank you. <laughs>